I'm Sam Corsa from BSU Action News. Today we're taking you on an awesome journey to Bemidji's first hotspot. The first hotspot for today is, of course, the free store, where you can find what you need for free. Let's take a look. Right through there? Yep. Hi, I'm Sam Corser. I'm here to check out the free store. What's your name? Abby. Abby. So Abby, take me through uh, what you have here. Barns, pencils, tools. And everything here is free, right? Yep. Tupperware. Tupperware, that's good for freshmen. Any freshmen? Okay. Over there we Tools, kinda got office supplies. Everything you could want. Okay. We kinda got random things over here. And then we got the suit yourself program. Suits, ah. And there's plenty of clothes here. I'm sure you could find enough for the semester. And it's all free. Everything here is free. This chair? Or it says do not take me. I mean, this not free? That's... But this is the free store. Or is this not part of the free store over here? This is back there storage. Storage. So, so it's, it's, it's not all free, but most of it is. Just not the chair and anything in storage. That's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of a low blow. You're kind of got some shady dealings going on here. You wouldn't know anything about that, though. This is a clean ship here at BSU. Not sure. I'm here with Erica Bailey Johnson, who has some information on the free store. So, Erica, when did the free store get started? The free store got started last spring semester, is where we initially made a really big push to try to generate um, items for the free store, and that was at the end of the semester with the Donate Don't Dumpster program. So we had the Donate Don't Dumpster program, which was typically kind of larger couches and chairs and that kind of thing, and it went into a big semi-truck and we donated it somewhere. But what we thought is we'd put big bins in each of the residence halls and we'd let people know what kinds of things they could put in there, like half-used notebooks, just tear out the used sheets, pens and pencils, um, kind of household items, you know, dorm things, that kind of stuff. So we tried to make a big push to get any of those items into those bins at the end of the semester and that's when we really got kind of the inventory that we have now was with through that program. And whose idea was it? The idea generated from um, primarily one BSU student, her name is Crystal Middendorf, and she, she got the idea from, from a project that another student had done out at a University of California, I think it was UC Berkeley School. And they had done the same type of idea. Um, they thought there was just a lot of things that students could use that people weren't using. And so why don't we try to get it all in one place, save students money. Um, and we had the space at the time. So, and it wasn't really, I mean, we didn't really know what to do with it. So we morphed it into this free store idea and made sure we weren't going to be uh, having to go through any you know, big obstacles as far as procedures and policies. And mm -hmm. so we just started it in the spring and it didn't seem like anybody had any issues with it. We just heard all positive feedback. And so it was kind of Crystal's idea and just the sustainability office and the whole campus all supported it. And so what sorts of things do you get donated? Ooh, we get lots of things. <laughs> we get, um, we had a lot of binders, folders, pens and pencils, notebooks. We also had um, lots of household items. We get a few small home furnishings like chairs. We have some like Tupperware, plates, cups. We have forks and spoons and somebody came in here really wanted a can opener the other day and we opened up the drawer and found him a can opener. <laughs> Measuring cups. Um, we have a lot of knick-knacky kind of things too, like some bulletin boards that go on your dorm door. Um, we have lots of, what else? I think we have enough manila folders for the whole county of Beltrami. Lots of those. But it, the student things, one thing we weren't expecting to get was clothes. But we did end up getting a lot of clothes, which people are pretty, some people are pretty excited about, you know, and if they were going to be thrown away, I mean, I'd rather they come here than be thrown. It wasn't something we wanted to focus on because I think there are a lot of outlets in the community for clothes. But um, as long as they're not going into a landfill, we can, we can have them here. But we're not going to try to promote to be an exchange of clothes. So. 
So if any BSU students wanted to get their hands on some of these free clothes or (laughs) knickknacks, when should they come by? So the free store is open on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 4. And that's kind of our hours for now, but pretty much since we're just starting, if anybody's in here, it's kind of open. So, But those are our set hours, our Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 to 4. Erica Bailey Johnson, (laughs) thank you. (laughs) There's another aspect to the free store here at the hotspot. It's called Suit Yourself. You're going to get a shot. Here at Suit Yourself, members of the community can donate suits and they get a tax break. Conspiracy! We, we now have our intern, Leland Steva, who has no class and no money, here to try on some of the free suits. See if he can find one that suits him. <laughs> That's going to do it for me and Lee here. This hot spot is on fire!